Okay, again, we have an equation and we solve for x by subtracting 4, so we get x is equal to 6. I know x is equal to 6 here for this point, and then most of you got stuck. Well, rely on your old method. Your old method is x and y. We know that x has to be 6. y doesn't matter. 0, for instance. Again, you know that x has to be 6. So make another point. You know x has to be 6. The y, it doesn't matter. 3? So I've got this one, 6 on the x, 0 on the y. And then the next one, 6 on the x and 3 on the y. When I have two points, that's enough. This is the equation x is equal to 6. We call this a vertical line. And by the way, do you know what the slope is? Let's find out what the slope is. The slope is the change of y over the change of x. Okay, pretend this is your first point and this is your second point. How much is the y changing from the first point to the second point? What is the change of y from 3 to 0? That's negative 3. And then how much is the x changing from 6 to 6? That's 0. So what do we get when we have 0 under? Undefined. Yeah, this is an undefined slope. A vertical line has an undefined slope. Again, pick points, call this x1, y1, call this x2, y2. If you want to use the, the former method, y2, or the long method, minus y1, over x2 minus x1. So you have 0 minus 3, and then 6 minus 6. Same thing, you get the same thing, the vertical change over the horizontal change, undefined.